Don Drury has a small vegetable farm in Payne County. Right now I have onions, potatoes, tomatoes, and I'm about to start planting my cantaloupe and my sweet potatoes. <laughs> Stephen Green raises pigs the old-fashioned way in Okmulgee County. His porkers spend most of their lives munching across pastures. He plants with clover, rye, and other grasses. Green has some common and not so common varieties of pigs. Right now I've got a, I've got a red wattle, I've got large blacks, English large blacks, and spots. This is the red wattle. He's an extremely rare breed of pig, and that's the, that's the wattle there hanging down. They got one on each side, and they're a really rare breed of pig. And there's, uh, I actually got him from the, the uh, Tulsa Living Museum. They're really famous for the, for the meat quality. And I have, I have never had one, so this is the first one time I've had one. But they say the meat's just really good from them. So we're, we're going to find out here in about uh, 10 months. Green and Drury sell much of the pork and produce they raise at the Cherry Street Farmer's Market in Tulsa. They say customers like getting to know the person who grows their food. People really want to know their farmer. People really want to know where their food comes from. People really want to know who grew it and how it was grown, you know what chemicals were used or not used. In my case, I don't use any pesticides or herbicides. Drury and Green are part of a fast-growing number of farmers selling vegetables, meat, even prepared foods at farmers markets across Oklahoma. Blaine Arthur is with the Department of Agriculture, Food, and Forestry. Uh, those markets are also spread throughout the state in various locations from Altus to Woodward, uh, down to Valiant and up to Pryor and kind of everywhere in between. So. Um, throughout the state, you should have pretty good access to a farmer's market in your area. In just five years, the number of farmer's markets registered with the Department of Agriculture, Food and Forestry more than doubled, just 30 in 2006, 70 last year. Last year, there was um, over $4.3 million in total gross sales at all of those markets. The number of farmers selling at farmers markets has grown even faster. Farmers markets has been very good for our producers. You know, in 2006, of all of our farmers markets, we had about 241 vendors. Uh, last year, we had over 1,000 vendors. Customers say there's an important reason for the popularity of farmers markets. They usually have a, a darker green or a brighter red. The carrots will taste better than something that's been shipped from, say, California. And a lot of times the produce that you get at farmer's market may have been picked that morning and they drive to the market and that's about as fresh as you can have it uh, to your table. Okay, so these are my russet potatoes. Drury says being able to sell at farmer's markets gives him the opportunity to fulfill a life's dream of raising a wide variety of crops. I grow varieties of cantaloupe that they haven't had since their grandfather had a garden. I grow varieties of spinach that they, don't, they haven't tasted since their grandmother's garden. That's just ryegrass. Green considers himself an accidental farmer who now has a good business because of farmer's markets. I love the pigs and so I, I bought some land and, and just was just going to raise some just to mess with them and, and try and protect some of the rare breeds of pigs, the heritage pigs, and it just kind of, it just snowballed. And you know, somebody had told me about the, the Cherry Street Farmer's Market. And uh, so I, I talked to some people about it and then went and, you know, and applied and got accepted and it's just taken off. Across the state, most farmer's markets begin operation in mid to late April and then continue through to the early fall. Growers tell us, while well, sometimes produce prices are higher at the farmer's market, when there's an abundance of a particular vegetable, prices at the farmer's market can be cheaper than what you'd pay at a traditional grocery store.